What's the word, ladies and gentlemen? This is Andrew, and um, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing some games here. The containment war totally ended. The event is over. No more 30%, no more uh, special skins, anything like that. But what is funny is that on my third to last match, I've been farming all weekend, guys. On my third to last match, I finally got a containment war drop, the one of those event cases that guarantee you a case, or rather a containment war skin. So as you can see my loadout, uh, the, the third one, the Kira, that's the one I got, it's the, um, gosh I can't remember the name. So this is what it looks like, it is sexy, it comes with the Dreiss, which is very nice, very very nice, some people don't like it, but um, I, I, uh, I like it, I don't know. It's a nice gun. You know? The Dreiss is, uh... Let's see. Come at me, bros. Come at me. Oh, god. Alright, too much, too much, too much! Uh, so here, here's the Dreiss. The Containment War skin looks sexy as hell on this weapon. Definitely an upgrade from the Grandeur, which is like mostly white. Uh, the stock on the Dreiss is kind of like, you know, nice accents, if you will. Uh, uh, let's see if I can laser someone. Oh, come on. Alright. Well, let's uh, let's head down here. I usually don't play Kira, so this you guys are in for a treat. Sort of. Oh god, am I gonna die? Nope. Whew. This is a uh, an intense match. Oh god! Uh, should not have jumped over that. Okay, we're good. That's the thing about Kira, man. She is really freaking squishy. Like really squishy. 90 HP is uh, not a whole lot to to work with when you're kind of supposed to be, you know, doing a lot of things like being an ammo support and artillery dude and. And, uh, am I taking anyone? No. Alright. The, uh, the Dreiss is essentially the Grandeur, but with, ooh, he died. With, uh, a bit more spammy, you know. It's, it's not very accurate if you spam it too much. Uh, so aiming down sights is sometimes needed. Um, I haven't really gotten used to this weapon entirely 100% just yet, so if you see me miss a few shots, that, like that, oh, 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 nope, yeah, like that, it's kind of, you know, I'm allowed to miss shots, okay, gosh, I'm only human. Now, aiming down sights kind of tightens up that cone of fire quite a bit, so, and luckily the iron sights aren't terrible. You know. Oh shit. <sighs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We haven't even started repairing this Eevee, so I may have to switch to my Fletcher, get some repair on. Uh, well, let's just try to stick with this containment war, Kira. It's a half decent. Oh shit. It's not a great loadout or a great gun to duel with, unless you're like sick at aiming, tracking heads. With semi automatic rifles. Cave and concentrate. Cave and talk. What is talking? I don't even know. Worship the pillar of fire. <laughs> oh, double kill! Man, I the laser is, is uh not very plug and play, you know, like you have your sky hammer, you have your RD, just kind of toss it and, it and it goes by itself. Now the laser you have to guide, um, but you don't have to sit there and guide it, you, but you still have to kind of direct it and tell you where it want it, where you want it to go, and a lot of people can avoid it, so don't expect like crazy number of kills from it, unless you're like, I don't know, god mode the laser. I'm certainly not, I'm speaking from experience here, I'm really bad with the laser. Um, All right, so back into the battlefield here. Uh, we've got two minutes and ten seconds left on the counter here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to repair this in time, cause uh, whoa, what the fuck? Visual bugs. 
see if we can kind of make something happen with this laser. Repairing objective. Repair, 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 repair. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Man, this is not a good match. This is not a good match. Uh, I'm gonna try to save this with Fletcher. I'm gonna, gonna have to whip out the NG because, uh, un unfortunately, my team is just not able to repair this damn thing. Uh, so, yeah, not looking too good here, guys. Not looking too good. Luckily, though, my Fletcher is pretty beast. Maybe not my best work. <laughs> Definitely not as good as Sniff, but, uh, I can make it work. Come on. The objective is just to kind of get in the middle of all this. Ah, come on. That minigun, man. That minigun. Wow, and he got the NO2. That's that's quite nice. Oh, man. We're at, oh, halfway. We got a minute left. Can we do this, though? Can we do this? Oh, boy. This is going to be tough. This is going to be rough. This is going to be something to talk about. Wow, halfway. 42 seconds. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, 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 yes, we did it! Holy crap, that was some crazy, rambling, <laughs> terrible commentary. Uh, but, but we made it, we did it. And, uh, my laser isn't working, alright. Uh, if we can just kind of guide this through, guide this through the, uh, the valley of death here. Oh, man. Oh, my lords. Now the Drice isn't that great for range, uh, it's more of an aggressive DMR type thing. You know, if you really want to go longer range, you may as well just use an actual sniper or even a, uh, the PDP. Oh god, and that's a turret. Uh, they haven't set this up yet, we can probably keep them, kind of keep them like this, yep. Uh, there you go, there you go Nader. There's some a there's some ammo. There's some ammo, rather. All right, Sawbones is here. Wow, we are just blasting through these guys. If we can put this over that barrier before it goes up, holy crap, that would be awesome. Uh, let me shoot a laser. Oh, no, no. Let me try to kill this guy. The engineer, man, gotta kill the engineers. Whew. Definitely not as uh, good with the Drice at distance as I am up close. As you can see, I'm kind of, ah, as, a, as you can see, I kind of missed a bunch of shots. Nice. So we just kind of busted right over that barrier. No problemo. Uh, let's hop back in here. Let's watch our flanks because I think there's a Fletcher right there. And as you can see, it, the Drice blooms quite a bit. Ooh, close. If he had blown that, I would have died. Kind of spreads rather quickly. They knocked out the ED. They Repair did, didn't they? they? Alright, let's try something sneaky here. I think they're all bunched up over here. Uh, which is usually what, where they like to hide out. So let's drop a laser. Let's take a laser for a walk. Alright. There you go. That's some ammo for you. And that's a rhino. That needs to go down. Yeah! With Rhino Man, uh, you have to remember to take longer strafes. Because the minigun blooms so quickly that if you strafe short strafes, like kind of back and forth like this, you're just going to keep running in back and forth into the bullets, into the crosshairs. So typically what I like to do is just kind of strafe around him if I'm really close. Make him, force him to have, his, have to move his crosshairs. Uh, you know, it's, it's not a guaranteed thing, but I found much more success when I do a long strafe uh, to avoid the minigun. And that's a nader. And I'm dead. And that's a, <laughs> that's a rhino. Uh, it's a little trickier in closed areas where you can't strafe that far. Uh, obviously, you know, less space, but... Um, Holy crap, we are on a roll. We're gonna deliver this, and boom. You typically wanna start on this side, because this is harder to do. So, do this side first, uh, because, you know, get the hard stuff out of the way. That way, the second box isn't nearly as uh, daunting. Hopefully, it'll delay them for a little bit. Nice, nice, 
Nice, we're gonna win this. Holy crap, what a comeback, guys. What a comeback. Mission accomplished. Nice work. Well, guys, that's uh, that was the match. <laughs> I had to take a call in the last few seconds there, but uh, I, I believe we won. Uh, ooh, what's this case I got? Just the regular equipment cases. Wow, it feels like it's been forever since I've seen these. Oh, yes. All right, lead Nader. What else would I expect, right? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't usually play Kira. This is the loadout I was using, uh, D82 Classic Rifleman. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best dry loadout. Uh, whether or not you like the dry, that's a whole other story, but it comes with extra supplies, drilled, and cool. Cool is eh, drilled is nice, and extra supplies is nice. self start is also very nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't usually play Kira, so it's a bit of a change from my usual pace. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you thought of it. Do you, would you want to see more Kira gameplay? And uh, I guess until next time, I'll see you in the next one.